What's up, everybody? Doc Doc1985. There's levels to this. All right. All right, guys, listen. Check this out, man. So, Sony is bringing a feature finally to the PS5. This generation, like, it's, it's so funny the way things turn out because when you really look at things, optics or perception is not always reality. So remember how they were always talking about how Xbox gamers, you know, you were always waiting for tools and stuff and we're always waiting for something to be done so that we could get all the features of the Xbox Series X. But in reality, it was the PlayStation that's been waiting for stuff to keep coming out. So they waited for VRR support. Finally, it came. Now they recently just got 1440p gaming on the PlayStation 5, right? That feature's coming out. Now they're coming out with a mobile controller or the backbone sponsored by, um, sponsored by the PS5 or PS5-themed backbone controller. And it's like... They literally are copying everything Microsoft is doing. And I remember the beginning of this generation, I agreed with a lot of the Sony fans that we don't want these companies to do the exact same things. They're heavily invested under subscription services, right? You're not going to den deny that. They literally just have all the jacuzzis on the PlayStation Premium now or PlayStation Extra or whatever, which Game Pass been had that. It's like if you got both services right now, you're almost wasting money because what's the point? And it's not worth having both services for just so you can have the PlayStation exclusive because they don't even have all the PlayStation exclusives on there anyways. So literally everything that PlayStation is doing, it's like the WCW to Microsoft being WWF, right? Or WWE now, but WWF. It, that's, that's literally what it is. It's like, you know what? You remember you would watch... You would watch um, Nitro, when, um, when Raw commercials would be on, that's when you would go ahead and flip. That's, that's what the PlayStation is. You, you play the PlayStation when on, when on your Xbox, you're like, ah, let me take a little bit of break. But as soon as you turn that thing on, you're like, ah, I'm good. I'm good. Low-key, man, I'm starting to really, really dislike the PlayStation brand. Like really, and, and it's crazy because I just purchased the PS5 and I thought I'd be happier. I know I'm going to enjoy the PS5, but it's only because of PS4. And I spoke about it in another video when I spoke about the PS4's legacy. That's the thing, that's, that's what's holding up the PlayStation 5 is the ps 4 legacy. Literally, literally, The Last of Us remake, PS4 legacy. Okay? You, th there's no questions about Spider-Man remastered, PS4 legacy. Okay? Forbidden West is a PS4 game. Don't, don't, don't cap. If, you, if it was only PS5 games, you would have Returnal or Rift Apart. That, that, that's, that's what you would claim? G, GT7, right? Because everybody plays that game as well. Look, man. I'm just, I'm just exhausted at this point, man. I'm exhausted with Sony. I, I, I feel like I got got. Everything that Microsoft does, Sony just wants to do so bad. So now they're into PC gaming. And then the problem is, too, that the fan base, the PlayStation fan base, yo, Sony's making y'all look dumb every second. Every second. Because none of y'all, I know for a fact, none of y'all were into mobile gaming. I remember how many people used to cap about xCloud, talking about how, like, nobody wants to play their games on the phone. Don't you be capping. And that's the problem. You got to be quiet. You can't be excited about subscription services. And I know a lot of you are keeping your mouth shut, but you know you like them. You know you like them, but you know you can't say anything because you're going to look crazy out here. Do not be hyping up this freaking controller for your phone. Just don't because you're going to look even, even more crazier, right? And then 1440p, well, who got 1440p monitor? I, well, now if you want to get one, you'll be able to use it, right? But on the Xbox, we've been had this. Yo, but we got the games. That's what you're going to say, right? We got the games. You got because the, because the only games that matter are the first party AAA exclusives to you. Right. You dismiss anything else. That's not a first party AAA exclusive. You guys are clowns at this point, man. Listen, PlayStation. 
all the stuff, all this technology that you're coming out with now for the PlayStation 5, finally, that's good. Overall, it's good, right? The more stuff, the better, right? However, comma, however, please don't overcharge people to play their games in 1440p. Please don't overcharge people to play their games in VR. Hey, you, you guys might be laughing, but you never know. Sony, might, there might be a paywall behind this. I don't, I don't trust Sony for any of this stuff, okay? And for the PlayStation fan base, I really suggest all of y'all, even, even the smart ones, because there's so many of them that think they know a lot, right? Just stop talking. Just stop talking. Because I'm sure we could find somewhere down either your tweet, your YouTube video, your YouTube comment, where you said something as, oh, nobody really cares about 1440p. Oh, nobody really cares about VRR. Oh, you don't need VRR if the game's already running at a hard 60 or whatever. I, I'm, I'm sure you've mentioned those things. Oh, nobody wants to play their games on the go in mobile, but now you're capping for all of this. Doc Dark 1985, there's levels to this. We out. Peace.